Hi, I'm Louise Pinnell for Advanced TV and welcome to our first Leaders to You. I'm joined by Andy Walsh, who is Director of High Performance for Red Bull. I think there's a lot of great information out there on building teams and how you motivate them, how you communicate within teams, how you lead them. And I think these are all brilliant concepts and I think the business world, actually, we learn a lot from them. We study a lot of the business practices and approaches to help us do a better job with teams on the field, teams in sporting environments. But one of the things I think that's often missed and one of the areas we see the most potential in is, is identifying the individuals within a team. We kind of throw a saying around like great teams are made up of great individuals. So we really focus on, uh, and as a manager I would encourage this, focusing on the people as an individual within your mm -hmm. team, making sure they understand what their roles are, who they are, where they want to go, you as a manager or a leader, mm -hmm. understanding that as well. And when you get the most out of an individual and they know their place, then the team seems to do a, will function at a much higher level. So what are the common characteristics that you see across the various world-class athletes that you guide? And are there ways we can identify young talent in a business environment? Okay, great. Um, I think one of the, one of the key, key fa fa factors in, in the world-class and the best performers, the people that really change the game, I think one of the things that they consistently do is they perform very well when under a lot of pressure they are able to make the right decisions at the right time. And we see that no matter what the sport or what the, what the, what the environment. When it comes game time, they execute and they execute well. Mm -hmm. So I think that for us is teaching them how to do that. And again, we do that through practices, through repetition, through pushing the envelope, giving them the chance to fail and step back, encouraging them and getting them so used to that space that then when they work out, they do that. So for a business, I think, there's some real simple targets in that, you know, create environments for your people to push the limits, create environments for people to perform right at their very top, right at the point where the pressure is sort of breaking and cracking them, and give them the chance to practice that. Don't do that the, the day of the big board meeting, you know. <laughs> Step back a few weeks and give them a chance to try it in front of small groups, bigger groups, so that progression's in there. Yeah. And then you start to build that out. Um, so I think that would have been my simple advice to them, you know. What we've sort of learned over the last few years, uh, and, you know, it's probably been the last 10 or 15 years in our business, is that, you know, you can have these great athletes with great talent and they do extremely well and, and at the end of the day, they, 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 they win the gold medal, they get the world title, whatever it may be, they break the world record, but there, sometimes there's something missing and what we've learned more and more about is the fact that we really haven't paid a lot of attention to the person as an individual, really what they're about, as I said, what their end game is. And so we have a saying, how do you want to be remembered? We'll sit down with an athlete right at the beginning with an interview with them or when they're coming to us with a proposal of a program to prepare them for an event. And we'll just ask them, say, how do you really want to be remembered? Or we may say, how do you want to tell a story to your grandchildren or your kids about how you lived this part of your life or, and the next part of your life? And what we really want, are trying to do is we're trying to get them to think beyond just what they do right. and who they are. And if we can start to bridge that gap, if we can start to get them to think about what they're doing today and tomorrow will reflect forever in, in, in one regard, then we can start to get them to look beyond the gold medal and beyond the world title and beyond the fame and the girls or the guys or whatever it is that's motivating them. And I think if we do it, if we're going to be real custodians of these sports and what we're trying to achieve with these athletes, and that's our, our responsibility. Yeah. I don't do it with a 16 year old, obviously. It's a, it's a, it's a conversation for later in an athlete's career. But that allows us then if something does go wrong and they don't all win, no, they do they fall. Don't. They do fall. And if they have this bigger objective and this bigger framework that helps support them, they're in a better place to deal with that. Thanks for watching Leaders to You. I'm Louise Pinnell for Advanced TV.